Hi everyone, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. Today I thought I would share with you my winter home decor tour. So I like to keep everything just kind of cozy for the cold winter months ahead. Where I live, it's really pretty cold until the end of March at least, and usually into April. So I like to just have a lot of neutrals, a lot of cozy throw blankets and pillows, some greenery, and just like to try to keep everything kind of cozy and warm. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm only sharing with you my main floor. That's really, you know, what I've decorated the most. Upstairs is just very basic right now. So until I decorate, well, I'll be decorating for Valentine's Day coming up very soon. And until I decorate with spring, basically it will stay like this. I hope you guys enjoy the tour. Thanks so much for watching. So if you saw my home tour, when you walk in my front door, straight ahead is my family room. To the left is my dining room. And to my right is my office. So starting over here to the left, I basically just kept it very neutral. And I'm not gonna get into where everything is from because I've been told I talk way too much. So if you guys have any question, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. So I just have these hooks here and then that's my Target basket and I just added some of this hanging greenery that is also from Target. And then I just have my little blessed pillow and then I did find these lighted birch trees on Amazon. I do want to get a little base for this. I just got them in the mail today so I wanted to put it out and see how it worked but I really like the looks of the birch bark tree and then just the lights. I think it looks pretty actually all year, but definitely through the winter. And then over here on my entryway table, I kept this very simple. I have that berry wreath that I had found at a craft um, place in Alex Bay, New York. And I love that. It just has some grays and some greens um, and kind of like silver cover colored berries. And I love that, especially for winter. And then coming down here, I just have my pitcher with my lamb's ear and some cotton stems and then my lamp. And then down here, I just added this home sweet home sign. Over here, I just kept this little wreath in here. I like how it's just neutral and I usually keep this up most of the year. And then this is just a view of the foyer area from this angle. So coming in here is my office. If you watched my office decorate with me video, then you pretty much saw all of this done already but I will just give you a little bit of a glimpse again. So for winter, I liked keeping this kind of frosted berry wreath hanging up here. I just think it gives a nice warm feel. And then down here, I just, these are Christmas bulbs that I just added in this little tray and I just think it looks really pretty and I will leave those out all year. I don't think you can tell that those are Christmas bulbs the way I have them turned. And then I did recently pick these up, these beautiful flowers, light pink, and I can't remember, I wanna say I got them from Joann's. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that's where I got them. And so I have some in this tall vase to the right of this cabinet. And then on my desk, basically everything is the same that it was before, if you didn't happen to see it. If you, again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments down below and I'll be happy to answer. And then coming over here, I have my plant and then these two chairs were a Craigslist find. And then I love this little arrangement. I just think it's so pretty. They are from the Christmas line at Pier 1, but I love them. They will definitely stay out all winter. 
and then down here just have those little books and that little figurine there on this table and then my furry rug that all of my animals are so happy that I purchased because they think it's theirs. And then on the other side of the chair, I have more of that, another one of those tall vases with some more of those beautiful light pink flowers. So this is just an overview of my office for winter and I love it. I mean, a lot of this will stay the same. The only thing I'll probably do is replace a lot of the berries um, with some flowers and put some pink florals and stuff up there and I did order a different wreath or I do have a different wreath to put up there but for the winter I really like that frosted berry one. And this is a view of the office area from as if you were sitting basically at the desk. So here is an overview of the dining room, how I've got it decorated for after Christmas through the winter time. So coming over here to this little table, I have this picture that I had up before and I put it back up and I love that. And then down here, I found these kind of reddish colored pinkish colored actually more like purple colored eucalyptus leaves on amazon they will be linked down in my amazon store along with the birch trees and anything else that i have gotten at amazon i will definitely link it down in my amazon store if you're interested so down here i have just another one of those little birch trees back behind to add a little light down here i have this little welcome sign and then that little tree over there and that little wooden house. Coming over here, I have my driftwood wall hanging and then I just have that welcome, round welcome sign that I've had hanging in there for a while. And then down here are just the little DIY skis that I had made in a video. And I just left those out for the winter. Over here is my trash to treasure stool that I did. And on top of it, I just have this little um, blue glass vase with some more of that pinkish purple eucalyptus stems. And then we just can pull these stool. There's two of these stools and I can just pull them in to the kitchen at the island whenever we have more than just my family over. Up here on the wall is this thankful and blessed sign. I leave it up all year. I just think it looks really nice right there. Over here on the table, I got this white vase from Target and I absolutely love it. I'm looking to add a lot more white and just neutral decor into my home, especially come spring. And then this is that beautiful like velvety lamb's ear that I got from Hobby Lobby and I just have some cotton stems as well as these little flowers in here. And I just think it looks really neutral and I just kept the table super simple. Over here, I always just have this little galvanized metal chair in the corner. I have that pillow on there for now. That pillow won't stay there. It's a little too big for that chair, but it's just there for now. To be honest with you, a lot of this decor is gonna change soon. So in my hutch, I just have that little wooden disc wreath that I made. And again, the supplies for that are linked down in my Amazon store. And then I just have a couple Radon pieces and a eucalyptus garland on this shelf and then that white crock back there. And then down here, I just have some of my plates and um, a birch bark candle. And then this was the winter DIY that I made and just this little copper piece that I had gotten from Goodwill. To the left of the hutch, I have another one of these trash to treasure stools that I had made. 
And then over here, I just have my winter two-tiered tray that I did a video on, I posted that last week. And then I have a covered, covered closed jar over there that I haven't put anything in there yet. And then oh, that is one of my favorite new things, this little elephant teapot. It will be going on my coffee bar. I literally just got it. My husband and I went to Las Vegas last week and I might do a Vegas haul because I've got quite a few things, but I found this and I love it. If, you know, this is just something you guys have never heard, but elephants besides like dogs and cats are my favorite animals. So I love that. I think that is so adorable. So here is a view of the dining room from this angle. And the dog. So when you come in straight and you go to the right, this is just a little half bath that I have downstairs. I'll turn on both of these lights. All right. So I just have, you know, I just kept it really simple for winter. I really didn't do too, too much. I like just keeping it pretty neutral. I did just get these on Amazon. I love them. They're like a wooden tissue box. They came in a pack of two. I love them. I cannot recommend them enough, enough and they look really nice. So again, those will be linked down in my Amazon store. And then up here on the shelf, I just put that little plant and a candle. And then that hello sign. I have my little cow picture back over there. And then I just have my little shutters from Hobby Lobby with this metal wreath, magnolia leaf wreath. And that's about it. I don't have anything in that picture yet. I haven't figured out what kind of greenery I wanna put in there yet, but I didn't wanna hold this video up just for that. So I will put something in that, but I might just wait till spring and pick some really pretty springy flowers to put in there. I don't know, we'll see. So coming out this way into the family room, this was the last video I just posted. So if you really want details on where I got everything, that will be in that video, but over here, I just have my blanket ladder with a couple blankets and a lamb's ear wreath. I put a lot of lamb's ear into this room. I love that greenery, it's one of my favorites. So I always incorporate that into my decor. And then my Wayfair TV stand, which I love. And I just added some kind of neutral decor to this just to keep it, you know, just nice and neutral for the winter, but yet still giving it a warm, cozy feel. And then over here, I just have this little side table that is from Target. And then my chair, which the cats have claimed as their own, is from at home. And it makes the dog very upset that the cats have claimed this chair for my, their own. She's not allowed on the furniture, but she doesn't like them being on it either. So anyways, this is from at home. And I think it was the perfect addition to this corner. And then over here, I love for the winter time adding birch logs. Actually, I'll probably leave these out. And I just added a little lamb's ear to that to add, just to give it a little bit of greenery. And then on this side, I have my lantern that I had gotten from TJ Maxx. And again, with a little lamb's ear greenery in there. And then up here, again, a lot of lamb's ear my gorgeous barn picture that my husband and I rustically framed out just to give it that nice rustic old feel that I had gotten from Pier 1. And then just some candle holders and I kept it super simple and I don't think it needs anything else, me personally, for my style. Coming down here, I just have some extra throw blankets in that basket over there in the corner. It also tries to disguise those, disguise those cords just a little bit. And then on this table, I have this lamp that is from Walmart and then that little let's get cozy sign and then down here I'm sorry the lighting is gonna go crazy then down here I have that beautiful picture that really ties in the barn that I got from the Hobby Lobby spring line and I just put some lambs ear in that and then this table is from Pier 1 
So one of my biggest things I love to do during the winter time is add faux fur throws and um, faux fur throw pillows. I just like the feel of them. I like different textures of the throw pillows. I think it adds coziness. I love these. They're from Walmart. They were super inexpensive. This is an Amazon pillow cover. That's again in my store along with, I don't know if the blanket's in my store. No, I think I got that at Walmart, but the faux fur pillows are from Target. So I like a lot of pillows. Some people ask me, why do you have so many pillows? I just like it. I mean, that's what decorating is all about, what you like. It's not, you know, what's right or wrong. It's really what you like. And then my favorite piece in this room, if you guys watched that video, my husband made this for me for my birthday and it's absolutely stunning and gorgeous and he did such an amazing job. So I just did a nice cozy little tray to put on here that really ties in some winter, like these little yarn trees that I made and that birch candle. And I just like it. I think it's just a cozy little tray that I can switch out for the seasons, but it gives that, you know, just kind of cozy, warm feeling. And then this book is highly recommended if you guys don't have it. It is Cozy White Cottage and it's absolutely amazing. So here is one more view of the family room and the way that it is decorated for winter. So then coming down here into the kitchen, on the right, I just kept these shelves very neutral. Also for right now, a little bit of greenery and I don't know, I wanna get this kitchen painted and get the cabinets painted at some point. So I'm not doing too, too much in here in hopes that sooner rather than later, we will be able to paint them. And then on the table, I just have this tiered tray that I decorated in my last videos last week, just very wintry with some greenery, some of the pine greenery and the white houses and stuff. So I just like it. It's very kind of simple. I don't know what this is. I don't know. It's just very simple. So then coming in here, of course the cats and the dog are gonna sit on the rug but I did get this large runner rug from Target and I love it right there in front of my sink. And everything is just super neutral in here. I have this little stand and I still kept my twisted peppermint out, the candle and the lotion and cream, I love them. Over here at my sink, I just have my favorite dish soap out here more because I love the bottle more than anything. And then this thing is awesome. I'm gonna link this down in my Amazon store. If you chop a lot of onions or garlic and the smell sticks to your hands, if you rub that on your hands like a bar of soap, it's amazing, it takes out all the smell. So, and I just have a simple white candle over there. And then over here on my little towel holder, I just have a very neutral towel from Target and my butter dish. Down here, another super neutral towel, just a gray towel. And then this is probably one of my newest favorite finds. This is from Pier One. It's a little twisted. This is from Pier One and it is a little fruit, hanging fruit basket. And I think it's absolutely adorable. So I got that. I love that it's neutral. I love the wicker. So it's so, I highly recommend this. Again, that's from Pier One. I have really not, I have nothing on the island right now. And I honestly just like it that way. To some people it's kind of boring and stark, but to me, it's just clean and simple. And then coming over here to my little shelf, again, I kept everything along the neutral theme. I always keep those glass jars, they're my favorite up there. And then I just have a couple Ray Dunn pieces and then down here, just some more neutral pieces. And I just like it like this. I think it's just nice and simple. I always leave my Magnolia table cookbook out there. That's my husband's mug. I talked about it in a video before. It's in my Amazon store if you're interested. And then I just have that covered dish for now. So here is another little view of the kitchen. Again, everything is just 
kind of clean and simple and that's just how I like it. You know, I just, to me, I guess less is more as far as, especially in my kitchen. And then coming over here, last place in my kitchen is my coffee bar. And I love this. I did decorate this in a video and it's just nice and cute and it's a winter theme. And I just think it's adorable. So um, this will be probably switching out next week and I'll do a little Valentine's Day themed coffee bar video. Um, so that will be coming up. I don't decorate a ton for Valentine's Day, but I like to just do a few little areas in my home. So that will be definitely be video coming up soon. So that was everything with this home tour. I just kind of showed you the main living area. Upstairs is all just super neutral right now. You know, no Christmas and just very kind of the way it was. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just gives you a little idea of how I like to add some cozy coziness to my home for the cold winter months and you know until spring comes and we can add a few little pops of color but I literally I love neutral so much so thank you guys so much for watching follow me on Instagram at decorate with Dana and um, if you are new I hope you will consider subscribing I will see you guys in my next video have an amazing day